Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, why would I care if we was the top seed, or the bottom seed? It don't, it don't matter to me. That's, I mean, whatever. That's yeah. fine. Listen, um, Celtics had a heartbreaking loss against the Cavs. I didn't 100% watch that game, but I heard about it. Um, I don't know if that changed people's opinions on if they're legitimate title contenders. Uh, Shooter, I'm going to start with you. Uh, are they still legitimate title co- contenders? Is it somebody in the East that can, you know what I'm saying, kind of come for their spot? If so, who? And do we believe in Jason Tatum to, like, take them to the promise land? Jason Tatum that made some real bold, you know what I'm saying, claims the last couple of weeks. And, of course, anybody in his position is going to say he's the best player in the league. You know what I'm saying? Sorry to the Celtics fan. Don't kill me. But y'all talk to me, man. Talk to me about these Celtics. Talk to me, Shooter. Is uh, Okay. You said, are they are they title contenders? Uh, I mean, yeah, they've been title contenders the last three, four years. They've been title Longer contenders. Than that. I want to say like the last Longer five. Longer than that. Might be five. Yeah. yeah. Um, are there teams that could take that away from them? There's two. One of the teams beat them last year, the Miami Heat. Um, even though Miami is where y'all at right now, Lou? Y'all like the six, we seven, like seed? The six, eight, six okay. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, Miami always give Boston a, a run for their money. Like that matchup is always a great matchup for Miami. Uh, and I'll say Milwaukee. Uh, I think you know, my Milwaukee's still figuring out, but you gotta that's an issue dealing with Dame and Giannis in the playoffs. That's something you gotta deal with. Um, I think, that, I think let me look at the sta- setting, but I the uh, standing, but I think that they ain't they second, they second in the yeah, East. Milwaukee yeah. second, yeah, 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 Milwaukee yeah. second. So yeah, they're always gonna be something. We ran to down on them a couple nights ago too. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. is Jason How Tatum an MVP? Jason Tatum. Yeah. How much do I believe in Jason Tatum? Yeah. I ain't... Take Here's my thing with Jason God, Tatum, no. man. Here's my thing with Jason Tatum, man. It, it is. It get a little sticky. It get a little sticky when when it, it get tight, and you need him the most. It get a little. It get a little sticky. Like you got one game where Tatum will come out. He got a forty ball. Then he come out the next game in the playoffs, and you like, come on, Tatum. Like you should be at that point in your career where there should be some consistency, especially when you get into the conference finals, NBA finals. You know what I mean? If you want to, you want everybody to respect you as that MVP. You definitely got to play on the MVP level when it matters the most. Based on, but let me ask y'all this: Are we? When we talk about duos, we really do. We talk about duos. When we when we see the Lakers and 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 LeBron and AD and somebody slacking, we call them out. Somebody, this person got to step up. LeBron got to do better, or AD got to do better. You know what I'm saying? When we see these duos, how come? And and please, let's keep the trolling to a minimum in the comments. Why are we not giving that same to Jalen Brown? Especially considering, and don't be like, oh, because he ain't got a right, or we can't dribble with the left. What's the what's the what's the one of those? Whatever. Three hundred dollar million man with no left. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, that's that's yeah, that's the narrative. But I feel like we don't put enough on Jalen Brown. You know what I'm saying? Like we're just like y'all are a duo. Y'all are getting paid like it's it's a Batman and Robin kind of thing. Um, when are we gonna put a little bit more ownership on like? All right, cool. You know, Jason Tatum is is that dude, but maybe he not that dude that dude without Jalen Brown being at a certain level, if that makes sense. Um, I mean, the thing is, is like even before, I mean, that's the thing. Jalen Brown, even before he got all the money, people was already saying like he's inconsistent. Like he's not a consistent player, and and even when you look at like betting circles or whatever, a lot of people take <laughs> take Jalen Brown for his first quarter points because he, you know, he gonna go off in the first quarter, and then after that, good luck. But like mm-hmm. it's just the thing with Jalen Brown, he just inconsistent. Everybody knew that going into this season. Everybody knew that before they paid him. Um, but we all knew that he was gonna get paid. We all knew that the Celtics were gonna pay him, and they were gonna make him the the Robin to Jason Tatum's Batman. Um, and I guess hopefully his, his game continued to to progress. He got more consistent or whatever. But my thing is, is if you just gave me three hundred million for what I've done, what more better? Like how much better do I need to be? Um, mm, so good, you got a, a you got a point, Lou. Yeah, a like 
you just gave me a bag for everything I've done over the past however many years. I'd have made it. But uh, right. and I'm not saying he's lazy or complacent. I'm just saying, like, it, that's a way to look at it. But uh, and I mean, and also to answer your other question about the Celtics. I, I think they're contenders, like Young said, like they are contenders. But the thing is, is when we get when we get into the playoffs. <laughs> like it's a it's seven games um, and what the back to back years, Miami has seen them for seven games in the conference finals. Um, one the first year we lost the second year we won. I, to me, it's like <laughs> it is what it is. And I even told you all that last year, like the team I would want to see is the Celtics because we match up well against them. Do you even think after that's the case this year? Even after the acquisitions, I was about to say, even even after you know bringing in. I told Kate y'all, I told y'all this going into the season, until they show, and I and I've told Jadis and and other people like until they can show me that they can beat us consistently in the playoffs, we're a threat to them. I, I don't care who they. When he pick say up, we, for those that don't know, he's talking the about heat. the Miami Heat. Yeah, yeah, the Miami Heat. Um, until they can show me that they can beat us consistently in the playoffs, then we're a threat. Like we're we're a threat to them. Um, I agree. I don't care who they have on their team because we got better just like they got better. And our, yeah. our team, and I granted, it's, it's not household names like they have, but our team been doing what we got to do <laughs> to get where we need to get to. So it is what it is. But um, yeah, I mean, I think with Jalen, it's just one of those things where it's like we all knew he was con- inconsistent. So it's like you don't really hold a candle to what you want because you knew it. You already knew this going in. Um, I'm just wondering, um, can they, can they, him being inconsistent, just obviously he's supposed to be that guy and and correct me if I'm wrong folks in the comments, because maybe it has been sometimes, but he's really supposed to be that guy that when Jason Tatum is having those off nights can literally come in and do what he got to do to step up. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody ain't going to be perfect. The playoffs is hard as hell. They, they Playoffs run for what, like two, three months? If you're mm-hmm. making deep runs, like nobody, yo, can't nobody be on like 100 every every other night all the time. Like that's that's why it's, it's a Batman and Robin type of duo because this, this day and age, you just can't do it by yourself. So um, I just feel like, I mean, that concerns me, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, no more Marcus Smart, right? So I'm just talking about, like, going into this playoffs. No more Marcus Smart. Um, I don't think that KP is going to be the force that they looking for him to be in the playoffs, but okay. We'll we'll see what actually happened. Um, they were literally supposed to do that, their big one last year, and they lost to the Heat. Like, I'm talking about, if I recall, they went down 3-0. They mm-hmm. went down 3-0 to get to the Heat. And, and, and remember seven. all of the first team that's going to overcome of 3-0 and, and come back and win and hyping it up because they have won, like, what, three straight? They won three in a row, yeah. They won three in a row. You know, mm-hmm. yo, you, you never are supposed to know shade because, again, y'all play really good ball, but team completeness, team chemistry and all that, dog, they should have never been down to y'all. Oh, the three to begin with, like that. That I was agree. nasty, nasty work. They had um, no business. Hey, that when was you disgusting. Have, when you got Spo, you know. Like, I understand, and look, we already know what what Spo gives. So I, I, that, I completely understand that. But, um, I cannot imagine, like, what the hell do you do this year if you're the Celtics and you don't even make it to like the Eastern Conference Finals. What if they don't even make it to the final, the ECF? If they don't make it to the Conference Finals? I don't know. I don't know. If they don't make it to yeah, the Finals, they don't, said, they don't might be out of West, West. I'm about to shout say. Shout out to you, our guy West in the comments. Yeah, y'all, y'all heard that intro to start off? That's how I got yeah, West. Yeah, that's that's right there. That's him. I said that's the real issue. West, tell me what you're talking about when you say that's the real hey, issue. Hey, you see what Chef said? He said, Lou, ready for football season all over again. You're damn right. <laughs> I just um, yeah, that's kind of crazy. I, I'm with Lou. I think if if the Celtics don't make it to the conference finals, I think Tatum is out. But that's, my thing is, is I just I looked up gone. his contract, and I think the earliest he can even get out of it is like 25, 26. Who, Jason Tatum? Yeah, yeah I'm looking I mean, at it now. You. Right, but no, no, no. Well, it's, it's a valid until 24, 25 at the earliest. Yeah, but it's for 25, 26. Nah, but I'm saying like he might. I want to trade. Like I'm out of here. 
Yeah, I, I, is he becomes an unrestricted yeah. free agent. He he becomes an under, unrestricted free, or he has that player option in what 25, 26. Mm -hmm. But 20, uh, 24, 25, that's his last year of his deal. He could just be like, and, hey, y'all got to trade me. And you got to think about it. And NBA is different than NFL. If, I was about player, to say, it, if a star really, player say trade me, <laughs> you yeah. likely about it. And, and this just takes me back to when they gave Jalen all that money, and I told y'all something is up. They gave him that money because if stuff don't go well, I think they know Tatum gonna want out, and they need some kind of insurance. Some somebody they feel like whatever, and I think that that's why they played Jalen Brown all that money to begin with. You and we in an era so, where stars want to play with each other, so Tatum could easily be like, oh, "Hey Hollywood, I, I hear you." Such. Hollywood said outside of the Heat, who's beating the Celtics? And I hear you. I think Milwaukee but I'm pretty sure we said something similar to this last year. And it wasn't outside of the heat. It was probably For outside sure. of Milwaukee. Milwaukee. We thought was Milwaukee the was Celtics, the team. And then they end up losing. And the heat beat both the of them. The heat beat you know both of them. So like, I, yeah, I you know who I did it. I can't trust. I personally can't trust the Celtics. That's just me. Yeah, they they, they, the they can't. I, I'm And I, you got every right to feel that way. Like the Celtics to, can't I have to be see trusted. it to believe it. I just have to see it to believe it. That's Nobody's scared of the Celtics either, though, Hollywood. Nobody's scared of them either. I think. I think. Yeah, I'm sure. The scary nobody over in the West. I don't think nobody in the West is scared of the Hell Celtics. no, ain't nobody in the oh, West scared of no, and to keep sure. it real with you. The Sixers should have put the Celtics out last year if somebody would have showed up, but that's another story. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know. I think they might be the scariest team in the East. Like why y'all not putting no respect on the Bucks name? Lou. What? We beat their ass last year. What the hell I gotta respect them? Yeah, for? they beat the brakes, they beat the brakes off them the last hell? year. <laughs> but they got Dame this year, though. Dame, Dame is a big difference, though. I don't give a damn Dame about this year. We just they ran got down, Dame, but less defense, though. That's the bro. Only we just ran down, down on them and defense. beat them by thirty like a week ago. Like what? Don't give a damn about none of that. We know playoff ball a little different, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Come on, and, and I know like he playoff, playoff ball different. a lot different too. Different. Like, yeah, but they have a Dame last year in the playoffs, though. Young, I don't give West a damn about none of that. West said, "Who will we pick over them in the East? Over the Celtics?" I'm listen, Wes. They just lost to the Heat last year. So if somebody was to pick the Heat over them, could you be mad at that? Nah. And, and like Chef said, they also got Doc Rivers in Milwaukee. You think I'm supposed to be afraid of that? I ain't gonna lie. He, here's a team. Here's a team. I think that could beat we the Celtics. We seen Doc Rivers get to Never mind. the second round. No, you had it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. We can't be trusted. Doc Rivers can't be trusted. That's a great another another great point. There's a team. I feel like if they're healthy, they could beat the Celtics. I know who you about to say. You want to say it together? Let's say it together. Good. One, two, three. Okay, the Knicks. The Knicks. <laughs> the Knicks. That's what I was about to say. And I the was going to ask y'all. I was going to ask y'all, Wes, all y'all, Hollywood, all y'all, Chef, all y'all in the comments. I was going to ask y'all because I didn't know the status of Jalen. The last time, see, I'm just, oh, God, I need to get, get it together. Jalen is okay, right? Because the last time I heard, I thought he was Brunson. Yeah. Is Brunson cool? If so. Brunson not cool, then that, that scratches everything. But... Okay. If Brunson is cool, healthy, maybe yeah, the if they're healthy. I like the Knicks to beat the Celtics. Hey, they I, got a, I, they got enough to beat them with OG and OB and all of them. They and got the enough, reason, right? And the reason why is because again, okay, so Chef said he's fine. Again, right. this is why you they can't be beat. Every year for the last three years, we've been like, oh, it's the Celtics shit. Oh, it's the Celtics. Oh, they look unbeatable. Oh, it's always the same narrative in the regular season. And then they true. get into the playoffs and it's hit or miss. One team show up the next day, not showing up the next night. Like we've been talking just inconsistent. So to me, any top four, any of those top four teams has the possibility can knock them off, in my opinion, in a seven game series until they show me something different. That's what I'm saying. It's the Knicks got a deep team. OG, OG, Anobi took them to another level. So I haven't, I haven't really been watching, right? I haven't watched much. So I'm, I'm quiet. We're gonna do homework this weekend, y'all. We watching. Nah, but this but uh, one thing I, I remember about Thibodeau, right? He don't yeah. really play his his depth. Has he has he changed that? Oh, that's Actually, no. Question. In the playoffs, he didn't really play his depth. So has he changed that? I will. If he answers that question in the playoffs, then yeah, I think the Knicks could do something. But the thing I think is, the Knicks got a deeper team this year than what they had. They last had a year, deep though. team last year. I mean, it may not be as deep as it mm -hmm. is this year, but they had a deep team last year. Julius had... Randle is out. Yeah, Julius Randle. Yeah, he out. Are they playing better without him? 
They've been winning without him. I mean, they've been winning. I mean, they're the fifth seed. Like, I think they're one game ahead of us or something like that. Yeah. I think they, I mean, of course, they need Randall. If they're going to beat the Celtics, they need Randall. All I'm saying is, is come playoff time when it's 0 0 and folks is trying to make a hell of a push, or anybody, whoever's sitting at the top four in the East, has the capability of upsetting the Celtics. Because they haven't shown me anything to the contrary. Yeah, and I'm not saying they can't beat the Celtics. I'm just saying, does does Thibodeau change his stripes? Yeah, they, I, I'm saying the if they're healthy. I, I know OG out, I know Randall out, but yeah. if they're yeah. healthy, the Knicks could, I like the Knicks to beat the Celtics. They could beat them. Because Thibodeau can do sure. one thing in the regular season and then get to the playoffs and he only playing six men. All right. Yeah, he, but to beat the Celtics, he 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 got to. You're going to have to play everybody. Up. He, he got to play, play someone. 